Hey, Coach, uh, how do you think the starting lineup did tonight, primarily on the defensive end, to get this one started for you guys? I can't remember. I really can't. But um, I didn't like the flow. Of, I didn't like the flow we had offensively. Um, so I just got to look at a few things and just, you know, like I said, just keep searching and just trying to find out the right situation for us. Um, but I didn't, I didn't like us offensively uh, to start, but defensively, I got to just look at it on the film. Uh, you said you didn't like it offensively. Is this kind of reminiscent of the last couple of games for you where you just were not happy with the turnovers and the like no. lackadaisical type of play? Um, not so much the turnovers, just just the flow of the game. Um, it was kind of choppy. And um, like I said, just you know, we had to change, you know, putting Pat in there for Reggie. So uh, we had to play a little different. And um, so just trying to figure that part out. I just didn't like the flow of it. Not that they did a bad job. Like I said, just trying new things, new situations, see what's best for the team. And, um, you know, and I just didn't like just to, I didn't like the beginning of the game offensively, like I said, how choppy we were. Um, nothing bad that they did. It just um, the flow wasn't wasn't good. Appreciate it, Coach. Can we move over to Tomer? Hey, Tug, still a win regardless. But like, just for some of the turnovers that you guys are having, um, I guess are, are they? acceptable when it's within the flow of the offense and being aggressive or like it doesn't matter when they're dead ball or live ball to you like I just want to get your perspective on that outside of it well you're making an aggressive play to the basket for your teammate um you know that's going to happen sometimes you know like PG when he's trying to attack and trying to make a play sometimes he turns the basketball over you know that's going to happen but just the careless turnovers that we got to take away that we can't that we can't have you know we're too good offensively to just you know have 18 20 22 turnovers um, expect to win, especially when you're playing against better teams. So we got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. And, um, you know, especially the Carolers, you know, just respecting the game and taking care of the ball. Move over to Law. I know you shared pregame that the priority is, you know, you're looking at you're looking at Denver, you're trying to stay healthy, you're trying to get in rhythm. But uh, how, do you, how do you balance taking care of yourself with the reality that there's only, you know, two, three teams that you could face in the playoffs and you're trying to simulate with this last week what those teams do well versus what the what your opponents are capable of doing? Um, I just think it's about us, Law. I think it's just, you know, um, getting our flow offensively, or what we like, what we want to do. And then also I just think defensively having a foundation. You know, I thought in the third quarter we really came out and, um, you know, played, played hard and set the tone defensively. Um, and like I said, it's tough to play these games when you know their best players are not playing. And, um, but you know we got to be more professional in that in that regard because we got to continue to keep you know um, helping ourselves get better. And um, it's all about us. You know, no matter who we play in the playoffs, you know if our if our stuff is right, then you know it's hard for us to be beat. And I believe that. Okay, we'll move over to Miriam. Ty, in regards to the choppiness, is, is that just a matter of kind of having like inserting Pat Bev and having different guys playing together or is it something yeah. you all and you did to tweak and tinker with or, or, or what? Yeah, I think you know, having Pat, you know, because when he played early on, you know, we played a different style of basketball. And then when we inserted Reggie, we played a different style of basketball. So um, we're just trying to get accustomed to having Pat back in the starting unit and just um, how we had to play initially. Like I said, it's going to take some time. And um, um, I just didn't like, you know, the choppiness. It wasn't their fault. Like I said, it was just something we tried. And we haven't played that way in a long time. So um, it was just something different for us tonight. So um, something we got to look at and just, you know, keep our eye on and um, just seeing what's best for the team is what we got to do. And we'll move over to Andrew. Hey, Ty, I, I don't know if this dovetails with the turnovers at all, at all or not, but you've talked so much about building good habits this year and you don't have that much time left for the playoffs to really lock in those. Where are you happiest about where you're at right now in the season and where do you feel like, habit wise, you guys still need to tighten things up? Um, I think just the continuity of getting guys on the same page. You know, like I said, guys been out so long and the addition of Cousins and Rondo, you know, two new guys that came midway through the season. So I think um, you know, the biggest thing for us is like I said, getting the continuity, understanding what we're looking for, and guys playing together, being on the same page. Um, and then it's like I said, it's my job to figure out the best rotations for this team and what's best for us going forward. Can we move over to Farbot? Hey, Coach. Do you think because of 
who, you know, who you were playing in the opposition, there was a little bit of kind of that choppiness because we saw some like behind the back passes, bounce passes off the backboard. It seemed like guys were trying to get a little flashy at some times. Yeah, that's the stuff we can't have. You know, no matter who we're playing, we got to be professional, take care of the basketball and just, you know, just having some humility, you know, and um, like I said, you know, some of the flashy passes and stuff, we can't, we can't do that. You know, we got to be more professional. And um, like I said, until we do that, you know, we're going to have 18, 19 turnovers and things like this happen. So uh, we got to be more, more professional, understand, you know, what we're coming to work for and what we're, what we're aiming to do. We're just trying to win the championship. So uh, we just got to be better. But it was good to see Kawhi, you know, had a good rhythm. Um, I thought he did a good job attacking the basket, getting to his mid range. I thought Terrence Mann came in and gave us a great lift. And I thought Zoo was great. You know, I thought being big inside and finishing around the basket, just his presence was huge for us as well. He'll move over to Pavi. What's up, Coach? Um, you know, I know that uh, the season isn't completely over yet. You, know, you still have to finish out this road trip and then there's the playoffs. But um, if I could ask you to just recap what the experience of this season was like, um, what would you say about it? Uh, different. You know, I think, you know, having three-fourths three of the season, you know, with no fans and um, still not full arenas, that, you know, right now. Um, not being able to, you know, go outside the hotel room for the first three fourths of the season, um, just a little different, you know. But I, I think our team did a great job just about adapting and um, understanding what the circumstances were and what the NBA protocol was as well. And um, I thought we did a good job of adapting, you know. But I know it's ten games shorter, but this is one of the fastest seasons like I've been a part of. It just felt it went so fast. And I don't know because we played so many games or not, but it was just like it was, it was, a, it was a fast season. 